Well, it looks like love is in the air, or in this case, in the water. These two are added again. Remember I showed you in a prior video some eggs on that little cave. Well, those eggs disappeared. I suspect they were eaten maybe by the pleco that lives in there. If they lay another batch, I'm probably going to pull them out. Now tell me, what do you think about this? Are geos pit diggers before they, uh, before they pair up and lay eggs? Because these two have made the mother of all pits. I used to have a, a red tear, used to move substrate around like this. But this is very close to what that red tear used to do. I mean, just in the volume of substrate that's been moved and shifted over to the side. Look at that mountain. That's a lot of work. Now, I know that African cichlids are, uh, are definitely pit makers when it comes to breeding. And if you know if that's the case also with geos, let me know in the comments. They've been hard at work, that's for sure. It'll be pretty interesting if I have two sets of eggs in this tank from the geos and also from the electric blue Acara and that green tear. Things could get really interesting around here. So thank you so much for watching and uh, just uh, check out that, that QR code. It'll take you right to my channel or just look for uh, Ben Ochart on YouTube. Got a whole bunch of videos there you can check out. Thank you so much for watching, my friends. You are appreciated. And I'll see you at the next one. Bye-bye.